Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video entitled Duran Fest Fruit Buffet in Bangkok Hot Thai Kitchen. Thank you very much for requesting this one. Of course, don't forget, guys. Thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up even before you watch it because you know it's gonna be awesome. Give it a thumbs up, share it on your own personal social media. Of course, guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Agroswade. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, if you want me to react to video, don't forget leave a comment below. And the link to these original videos, they are always below in the description. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, hot Thai kitchen in Thailand. Hello, oh, she speaks English. I am in Bangkok, Thailand. Wow. Durian Buffet. Oh. Look at so many. Calabash is that? Mangoes. Mango stein is that it? Wow. Salad made with durian. So it's underripe durian, so it's a little crunchier. Papa. Durian curry. Wow. So this is masaman curry made with durian. Very intriguing. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's really good. It doesn't actually have that strong durian flavor because they use underripe durian. Uh -huh. It's just a nice soft texture. It's all about texture, really. There really isn't any taste to it. Mm. Oh, that's wow. really good. And on top of durian, there's also pineapple. Oh. I, mean, again, this is I am actually good, my own pineapple. Season. This one's actually one of the more famous ones. Look how small it is. It's like <laughs> tiny little mini durian. It's a variety called Long Lap Lai. It's really expensive. Long Lap Lai. 1200 baht per kilo. 1200 baht, that's and US. 25 dollars. In North America. Wow. And oh my god, 1200 baht per kilo. Okay. Wow. <laughs> So I thought it was just frozen durian, but it's actually durian ice cream that they reshaped into a durian, durian. shape. Wow. Looks like it must be delicious. Because if you've ever had frozen durian, it pretty much tastes like ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> and at a little bakery stand, they have durian cake. And oh. by that I mean little durian. Oh. <laughs> so cute that is. So cute like indeed, it's cute. And right next to it, check that out. Yeah. Mango steam, that is, that's All right, creative. We are now approaching the durian buffet area, so I'm uh. going to go in and start gorging myself. <laughs> so we're here, and all you have to do is just grab a plate of durian and start eating. It feels kind wow. of weird, actually, so I just take it and go. Unfortunately, they only have one type of durian, um, which is wow. the Hong the most famous kind. And then oh, over here, looking so delicious, yo. Durian buffet, you can also grab a basket and just fill it up with rambutan and mango seed and whatever else you want. Wow. Like. I better not take too much because they say if you have more than 30% of what you take left, you got to pay a fine. <laughs> so here's a tip for when selecting mango seed. You want to pick one and press around the fruit uh -huh. and it should be soft. If you get a spot that's rock hard, that's usually because it's not any good. Oh. Okay. And at the table, they've got all your supplies ready and you can <laughs> Five hundred bucks. Okay, that's. So it just occurred to me that these are actually gloves. So Whoa. you know, durian kind of mushy and soft. These are some big gloves. <laughs> these are some big gloves. They give you gloves, and it's really hot right now. These gloves make it even hotter. All right, here we go. Wow. Yo. Wow, that looking so creamy and tasty. Oh, it's perfect. Is it? Nice. Ooh. Soft, custardy. I know there's probably some of you <laughs> wow. haters out there, <laughs> but maybe you just haven't had the good one. I know. So for drinks, they oh. have fresh young coconuts. Coconuts. They open That's the, the way to go. Water. Love it. Nice coconut now, is so... You know, mm. I usually use a knife to open 
Uh -huh. So they don't give you anything, no knife support, no nothing. So I guess I'll have to do it by hand. Um, and you just have to like squish it until it breaks. Wow. And open it. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at Perfect. that. Vila mango seed is sometimes it's a really <laughs> big disappointment because you open it and it's all rotten on the inside. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh my God. And so mango seed, you just sort of suck the really juicy. Yeah, off, off the seed there. Yeah. So you can, can just consume them, yeah. This is by far my ultimate all-time favorite best. fruit. If I best, best super. <laughs> one kind of fruit for the rest of my life, this would be it. And of course, at a fruit buffet, they've got to have mango and sticky rice. Look at the diff wow. beautiful colors. And I guess Why did they use those to dye to get that purple color? color? I don't know what that purple is. I mean, it might just be food coloring. This mango I'm wondering. is what we call Nam Dok Mai mango. And Nam Dok Mai is Nam one of our Mai. most famous mango. It's it's not my favorite though. My favorite is a type called Okrong, which is really hard to find these days. <laughs> grafted mangoes. I love grafted oh, okay. mangoes. This is my first bite of mango in like forever. A high mango <laughs> in like seven months or something like that. Because I've, and it always surprises me the flavor and the aroma of Nam Dok Mai mango and how different it is from the kinds of mango that I can get in Canada. Oh, wow. So good. <laughs> this fruit. Wow. Actually, I don't actually love it. It's called Sala in Thai. I don't know what the name is. It's English. I, but what? I wanted to show you. I mean, I would This one is new to me. I've never seen this one before. It's got lots of tiny little thorns. It's like it's nice and red and it's got a really distinct smell which I actually Can the thorns go in your fingers? But for the sake of education, I want to show you. So in order to open this, you definitely want to grab it with paper or something cuz these little thorns your yeah. It really boggles my mind. They I'm surprised that we. Here, but I find that like is like one of the easiest things to peel by hand, but they don't peel these I'm, I'm surprised that persons would try to eat what's okay. in there with so, so many fawns on it. It's trying to hide or protect it that really delicious, delicious smell, wow. But I, for some reason, it's just not my favorite. Shh. What? I want a video about the varieties, all the possible, um, a, a video about the food market in um, in Thailand where they have different varieties of crops and fruits. I've got something familiar like that. Um, I forgot the name, but there's some. Well, no, not something. That's actually the seed. We, we, wow. Much all of them are good. Like, you know, you don't um, want one that's sour or while it's playing, not. let me just get some quick. All you have to worry about is them being rotten at the top. Like, this one's not great. See how it's sort of like bruised? But it's okay. As long as there's no worm. So, I got something. Um, no, this, one, this one's no good. I can actually taste the, that it's on its way out. Very good. Ah, oh, this one's so sweet. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. This is called Kenip. So what you do? Right on the skin, and then you've got this. And then you just suck it. Julian. I'm definitely coming on that time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, guys. So if I have to come to Thailand, it's definitely going to be somewhere between May, June, July. I'll tell you why. And I want you guys to request it, of course, if you know what I'm talking about. There's this water festival or something like that when everyone is in the streets with water guns and booked of water. Let me see the idea. There's a video right now that was recently recorded of this is perform. This is what street water festival. Of course, request it so I can react to it. But I want to come during that time because it seems like May, June, July, August have a lot of activities. 
so by what I watch and those who are communicating with me via Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram, they're telling me that's a good time. Of course, if you want to recommend the best time I should come to visit Thailand, comment below, just let me know. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.